Two halachas in the Rambam. The Rebbe said that the way to bring about it, that everybody should say at Mosai the way he's supposed to say it, that it should come from himself, not only because he's told to say it, is to learn the Yonik Gula Mashiach. There are two halachas in the Rambam. When he speaks about Vias Mashiach, the halacha, in, by the way, in the beginning of Perg Aleph, that somebody doesn't believe in him and he's not awaiting his coming. It's not enough just to believe that Mashiach is going to come, but you have to await his coming. And he puts the, puts them both in that. The Mechakele Biyosi puts it in the same category as the Maimin boy. That if you're not Mechakele Biyosi, so, 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 that's one aloha. But then in Perkin Bay, there's another aloha where he speaks about whether the yo is going to come before, or the yo is going to come after. <coughs> and he writes over there that there's a machlekit chachom in this. And they don't have a kabbalah between elu, if you have a psukim, if you have a machlekit between elu. The guy be other details of how the gegula is actually going to happen. The order of these things and the details of these things is not an ikar bedas. That a person in these matters exactly in the details. Like, for example, whether the Yo is going to come first or later, other the other details don't make that a main point of, of B.S. Mashiach. And why is it not an Iker? Because exactly the details of how it's going to happen, because they don't bring not to years Hashem, they don't bring to Avos Hashem. Don't make it that has to when dates, etc., that's not the important thing. The main important thing is to await his coming and to believe that he's coming and that he will come any minute. Uh, and, and the chlolis ha'inyan of gula, that the gula is going to happen, Mashiach will come and will be in his gala. That's what we have to believe. That's what it means, the chakra will be also. So when the Rebbe said, the raising in Yonah Gula Mashiach, according to these halachas, it's uh, Porsche, we have to be oisig in those things that strengthen our emuna in, in the etzim gula, and that Mashiach is going to come, that the gula is going to happen, and that we have to strengthen ourselves in the lechakis lebiyosei, that we have to await his coming. And awaiting the coming, so <laughs> I just want to read a Tanya in Perik Mem. Well, but there he speaks about which is connected with the Parshas Shavua. About somebody that has a rotzi to be nuskasha be avedis Hashem, to be nuskasha with the Abish to himself, and to become one and to come to Avos Hashem, and he has a gvald gets in mind to become dovuk by Kodesh Baruch So he says that a dying nafshu shakeka with smear Hashem a kosel of kol yoyim ve'enu miravitz in mind of a how can you satisfy your thirst to come closer to the Abishter by through the Mehatero? And somebody that doesn't that doesn't it's not satisfying your thirst through the Mehatero, Nigla Sidis. So then is Moshul Mahadov Dovadai Mahazekamisha Aimu Benor with Saik Mai Mai Lishtois, Kamasha Kibula of Hanovi Haikal Tsamu Kula Mai. It's like somebody is surrounded with water. Water could be uh, that you could drink from, and other that could that you could satisfy your thirst, that you could be miravayitzimoid, and you're surrounded with this water, and you're not drinking, but you're screaming, my my, 
There was, I have this simoin, I want to be Dovik HaKadosh Baruch Hu, I want to be Nisachet with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I want to have, have this Kaloin HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And have around me a lot of water, a lot of things with which I could be Mirava this simoin. So it's like somebody that's screaming water when he's surrounded with water. But if we're only talking about learning itself, so then why Kurdish Bohu? And he thinks that the Dovik HaKurdish Bohu, he has to do oysterlicious things. You have the Torah, you have the Chsidus, you have exactly what was given to you with which you could become Dovik HaKurdish Bohu. And if you don't do those things, you're looking for other things, so then. It's like somebody that's surrounded with water and doesn't want to drink. And the Rebbe said that everybody has to start screaming at Mosim, it's at Atzma. That you have to be Mechakli Bi And you have to do whatever. And if you're Mechakli Bi so you're going to do whatever it is necessary that you should be able to come. And otherwise, when the other way, if you scream at Mosai, but you're not doing what you, what you could do, so this at Mosai is like somebody that's surrounded with water and he's screaming water and he's not using the water that he's surrounded with. We have the Sikhs, we have the memorial, we have the Kola Teira Kula, we have Teira Mitzvahs, we have the Hadrochis that the Rebbe gave me of exactly what has to be done and how it has to be done and which way it has to be done. And just to scream at Mosai without doing those actions which are our control, which are totally in our Pchirah so it doesn't work. That's, that's not at Mosai, that's not real at Mosai. It, 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 the, the falseness is, 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 is screaming out. Or in, in simple words, the, the first sikhs that the Rebbe gave out in the Dvar Malchus that came out after the sikh of Chof Ches Nisim was the sikh of that the concept of Mashiach, Mubus is on the Rambam, the concept of Mashiach is that, ma, that is Marzu, the Malchus, the Beis Dov, the Yoishno, he's, 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 he's in the Loshno of the Rambam, that is. Uh, all the things that we can't do today, that when Mashiach will come, we'll be able to fulfill the Torah, the, the, the simple words, the Rebbe is saying, what the Rambam is saying, that the concept of Mashiach is that at that time you have the Torah, the Torah is what Eivishter gave us, the Kalim, through which we can transform the entire world to make a dear to to bring about the gilu lekus in the world that we want to see that that's what bias mashiach is all about and that's the definition of mashiach or or in different words like the ever said many times that we went into gol at and if you want that there should be the gula the only way to bring about the gula is that you have to mevatel the sip so one of the things that the Rebbe stressed many times, that the Mavatu the Siba of Golis, so just like the Golis came because of Sinas Chinam, so the, 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 how to bring about the Gula is to, is to work on Avas Chinam. There shouldn't be any Machloikis. There shouldn't be any Machloikis amongst Eden. There should, there should be an Av for every single Yid and to try to help every single Yid in any way that I could help him, Begashmias, Beruchmias, to Avas Chinam. I don't have to have a sibir and I don't have to have a reason. It's just the very fact that this is a yid and there's something, and so therefore, as a yid, I, I have the total ava for him, ava shlema for him. And I, but and ava is that I'm a sape called tzrochov and I want to, I want to kirva, I want, I want, I want, I want, upon him, upon him, etc. So that's been Adam Lechaveri, and the same thing has been Adam Lemokit. Against the Indian of Lakus that at that time will be in his Gala Lakus, but Elam Yedako, that the whole world will be filled with knowledge of Yediyas Hashem, Rechuli. So, whatever I can do to increase my Yediyas Hashem, to show my, how I really have the Simoin for the, for, the, for the way the world is going to be after Mashiach will come, I have to do whatever I could do right now. And whatever is my Yechoyas, whatever is my Pchir, it's a, it's a Tzchoyk. To just go on with our everyday behavior, uh, that uh, the goal is the behavior, and to say, but I want Mashiach. If, if we have to do whatever it takes that Mashiach should come, so the way to whatever is in our power right now, to Mechazik and Torah Mitzvah, so that's what we have to do. 
that they don't see in this in this week's parsha that the Rebbe asked the question that how is it possible that there should be Rotsi and Shuv? If the Rotsi is Be'emes and he has his Simoy in, in his Kalois HaNefesh to the Abishter and it's Be'emes that he just he wants to become Ois. So how is it possible that when he comes to the ultimate epitome, the seed, the, the, the highest point of this Rotsi, of this Kalois HaNefesh, that then all ones don't have to go back down. It's a tie to the Sas. And the Rebbe explains that it depends how I'm going into the Rotsi. If I'm going into the Rotsi because Kiris the King Li if I'm going into the Rotsi because of my personal Rotsi, because that's what I want. So then, Taka, there's a steer. I have this Rotsi, I want Kalois HaNefesh, I want total Dleikis, Vakadish Baruch, a little Gonj, and and this 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 tenua is because of my own rotten, because of my own shukr, because of my own want my own want to be at that level and to be separated from 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 the, all these narishkeiten of the world. But it, I'm, what I'm thinking about is my own shleimus. So then there's takestira. How how can I when I come to the sea and I come to the ultimate highest level of this rotzi that now go shuv go back down. And and, and and become another physical human being dealing with the physicality of the world around it. I that's that's not what I want. And uh, when I come to the sea of it, how can I go? How can I? How is it possible for me to go back there? So it's so never explained. Very simple. That it says like it says the lashon of Rabbi Kiva Nichnas B'Shalom is Yotzer B'Shalom. That if my drive and my push to, to for the curious of the Kiva Lit Toif. Is because of my own shukr, because of this is what I want, this is what. So then, Taka, there's a steer and it's impossible. And the only way that you can really f- 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 come to the shuv, which is the ultimate tachlis of Bia Sayyidom, the ultimate tachlis of Ayman and Shama came down into this world, is if the Rotsi itself is also because that's what the Abishta wants from me. The Abishta wants me to ha- have this shukr, the Abishta wants me to have this simoin, the Abishta wants me to be this alder and to have this, 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 this terrific. This kalois hanefesh, and since my whole drive was the rotsin of the Abishter, so the same Abishter that told me to come to this level of kalois hanefesh of this rotsui, the same Abishter says that when I'm at the ultimate epitome of this rotsui, now shuv, now for, to utilize these spiritual capabilities, this gidli that he got the rotsui, utilize it to transform the world and make the world the way it should. And, and uh, the pastures is the same thing as with this Mashiach. If you want to accomplish real Bias Mashiach, what am I oisig in? What is it that I want? Do I want Bias Mashiach for my own perfection, for my own my own neuchius, my own comfort, my own um, my, because I want the world to be exactly the way I uh, that it should be in this perfect world, that, and I want to live in that, that kind of a world, or I want Bias Mashiach as part of my shlichus over here in this world. Just like the Abish, just in order for me to be able to accomplish I have to first elevate myself and separate myself from the physicality of the world around me. And only then I can I be mishtalit and can I uh, utilize and transform the physical world around me and make it into a dear betachtenim, a place which is muchan for, for, for the Abish to be there, that the Abish will be comfortable there, because that's what's going to give me the kaychas. So it, it's the same thing is with Bias Mashiach. Bias Mashiach could be, I, I, I could, I, we should have Levi, like the Gemara says in Sanhedrin, he wanted to beat Mashiach, he wanted to greet Mashiach. He asked Elio, how can I, where can I greet Mashiach? And Elio Novi gave him the address. And he went and greeted Mashiach, and he asked Mashiach, when are you coming? And Mashiach answered him, Hayyim, today. The day passed by, and Mashiach, there was no his gallows of Mashiach in the world. Mashiach was there, Mashiach is Kayim, but the Indian of Bias Mashiach is Galas of Mashiach in the world. So he came back and met Eliyahu Hanovi and again said, Mashiach is Badoihu. He told me he's coming today and he's not coming. So Eliyahu Hanovi answered that Hayyei mean Bekele Sishmo. That Hayyei means in Bekele Sishmo. I, Mashiach himself, didn't make any transition. He didn't make any Katanai. Mashiach just said Hayyei. How, how does Eliyahu Novi come along and say, no, what Mashiach meant, he meant together with the condition of him. 
So the, the simple answer is that Hayyim is the way the Abishta makes the Yayim, for the purpose that the Abishta makes the Yayim. Otherwise, it's not the Yayim. Hayyim, the day, the way the Abishta wants it to be, the, the day. And how is the day, the way the Abishta wants it to be? That's only in Bekadosh Shemot. It's only through our Avoido. That the Zman and the Mok and wherever I am and whatever, whatever opportunity was given to me and was utilized for the way the Abishta wanted me to utilize it. So then when we do our tafkid, so, so every yid has a nitzvah of Mashiach within himself. He connects himself with that nitzvah of Mashiach, that he realizes that everything is a shlichus of the Ebrister, and the, the shlichus of the Ebrister of Bias Oilam is right away from the beginning was because he wanted a dear betachdenim. And the way to make a dear betachdenim is that everything goes according to the way the Ebrister intended it to be. And he gave us the credit. That's why he sent down to the Shomer, Nefesh, Echelik, Elkai, Mimal, that we can be Megal, Elekus, Ba'ilam, Hazi, Agashvi. And how can we be Megal, Elekus, Ba'ilam, Hazi, Agashvi? For that, we have Lama Tes, Krochim, of Agutas, Sichas. For that, we have 30 and some Krochim of Igris Kedesh. For that, we have all the memoriam of the Rebbe. For that, we have the, the whole Teres Achsidis, that right away is in Sgala to, to try to be Mekarv. And that's what we have to be, to put ourselves into. The Rebbe went a step further, that Avada Yid has to be a Sholem Rabbi Dosen. Our first leg is that all Yidin should be exactly the way the Ebersha wanted them to be. But we, as Yidin, we also have a responsibility for the whole world. And we have to see that, that even Lahavdal, even Goyim, they have to, they're Mekai, they're Shevabitz, but they know And everybody that has Hashboy, any Koyach that a Yid has, that, that he has that he has to sack and do utilize his kreches, the sack and oil, but he has to utilize it in every way, not only in his little corner, because I'm not only thinking about myself, and I'm not only thinking about Klali so I'm thinking about the Rots Navaya. The Rots Navaya is that this the sack and oil, but so therefore, if I can have a shkor and a goy that he should keep Shabbat mitzvah, I have to do that also. So if I say Ad Mosa. And I really want Mashiach. And I really want these galas of Mashiach. And I really want that there should be a model or his day as a I mean, that's what I want. But then there's certain things that I can do right now. So the first, if the atmos is real, so that's where the first expression of this atmos has to be in what's totally in my control. And what is totally in my control? Myself, my sviva wherever I have hashpoor, to utilize it in the full way that I could have the hashpoor over there, and to do it over there. That's the very shooting. That, the pastures, that's also the difference. If we say Admosai, but I'm hastens of Admosai, like the expression that you ever said. Or I say Admosai because it's coming from within me. What's the difference? We do mitzvahs because we're told to do the mitzvahs, or do the mitzvahs because we, we want to do the mitzvah because of the nasa of Nishma that we said at Harsina. So, so I'm not holding right now. I have a Yetzirah, and I don't want to do the mitzvahs, but I'm, but I'm told to do the mitzvahs, so I, I do the mitzvah. So the Chur is very good. I, I, did, I did whatever I was supposed to be. The answer is that when I do what only because what I'm told to do, so I do it according to what I, my understanding, what I'm being told to do. When I have my own shukit, and I want my own vacus for David Shter, to be mal the rotten of David Shter, mal my shlichus over here in this world. So then I can't not be mistaping. I did, I was yaitzah. There's no such thing as yaitzah given. I have another, like the Rebbe used to express, you have now another minute, you have now another opportunity, do whatever you can do, mitzat your kachas. It's not, you're not being gaitzah for anybody. You're doing because this is where what my home at CS is all about. If the atmosphere doesn't come from within me, so you're not understanding the atmosphere. Because and if by me there is there is not that shukat to, uh, to be mal and to fulfill all my kirchis and all my abilities according to what I could fulfill, so then I don't have the real atmosphere. What's the Indian of Mashiach, Shlemus Atteva Mitzvah? Just like this Shlemus Atteva Mitzvah Bechlol, there's a Shlemus Atteva Mitzvah Befrat. And everybody, if I'm utilizing my Kirchis and Sur Miram and I say Tev according to my ability in, in the full sense and utilizing every opportunity that the Abishta gives me, and I utilize it to the utmost of, what I, of my understanding, so that is what the expression of Atmosa. Because that's where, where I'm living. I have a Shlichus over here.
And that shlichus over here is mamish nageya. And it's nageya, it's nageya to, to myself, it's nageya to the world, it's nageya to the Ebesh, Kavi Yochel, to the Ebesh, to himself, like the Rebbe explains in many shlichus. The Ebesh to himself is mania chalyeinu tachtoinu, umabit olo, rabbech mkloi zolei v'moifte kuroi. That's what we have to live with. And realize that by the very fact that I'm here, whether whether I feel it or I don't feel it, the Matthias the Matthias advert is I'm here, this is where I am. <clears throat> and I have an opportunity to do something, you know, say to or, or, or in, in whatever opportunity. So that is my shlich is right now. That's why the Abish put me over. And that's why the Abish gave me the Kraychus, and that's why the, and, and, and gave me the ability to be able to utilize this in the best way possible. <coughs> we shouldn't be fools and start being icing in those things that the Ram says in Paragud Base that it's not the Ikaradas, it's not it's not the Ikarador. We have to understand that what we have, we have, we have, what we have to work on, what we have to put our efforts in, and what we have to try to put our understanding in, is what will fulfill the mechakele biosle. How can it be expressed the mechakele biosle? That when a person is really waiting for something, so then, as the time goes by, he doesn't. Not only doesn't his his muna and his become weaker, the other he comes more anxious. Because he realized that's a whole Matsya, so why isn't this Matsya being fulfilled? And uh, so therefore, when I mean, he becomes more anxious, so like the Rebbe says, the, 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 one of the Pizgom that the Rebbe constantly used was going Mechai Lechoyl, not to be satisfied with it, not to get, there's no, there's no, as long as Mashiach is not here, it, I can't give myself a pat on the back, no matter what I did, no matter what I accomplished, accomplished, I could do this with Mitsuris, but Mashiach is not here, so obviously there's something more that has to be done. Maybe another point that could be brought out is the nature of, of people is that I, what I did already, what I learned already, what I accomplished already, so okay, so that's done. I have to look for a new challenge. Like I heard the, somebody say that obviously there has to be something totally new. There has to be something totally revolutionary because otherwise whatever was done was done. And we can't compare ourselves to the So we, we can't compare ourselves to the earlier generations, the way they learned Torah, the way they were, they were Mekai Mitzvah, the way they had Avos Yisrael, et cetera, et cetera. We're not in their Madariga, we're not like the Chassidim Mereshenim. So therefore, what is it that I can already accomplish? So people think they'd have to have some, something revolutionary and have to think of something revolutionary. No, it's, oh, that's the only way I can accomplish. So even though that ain't no chinami tak, we have to go like the Rebbe said, and that we have to be like Kenanis Agabi Anok, and we have to reach out to places where maybe in previous generations didn't reach out. We have to accomplish certain things that the opportunity there is in our generation, like the Rebbe had also the Kabbi Sheba Mitzvah Bnei Noyach, that once upon a time was impossible because it was kosher sakonis nefoshes to do such a thing. Nowadays we can do it, so we have to do that. Uh, just one example. So, so obviously there is there, there are certain things that are left for us to do, but then there's another point. The, like the Rebbe says, by, when it comes to Sphere Sa'emir, we all say Yom Shlishi, or Yom Ravi, or Yom Asiri. That now it's a new time, a new day, a new Raveda, etc. We say Shlesha Yom, we say Arba Yom, Asari Yom. That means whatever previous Aveda was accomplished, we have to keep it. And we have to build on top of it. Whatever was done for that Mashiach should come, for these gals of Mashiach, etc., etc. It's not that since Mashiach didn't come in Chas Vashon, obviously that's not it. No, there's the there's the there's the yom echon, there's the shnei yomim, and there's the shleishi yomim. So whatever whatever is was done, al piat the way we're supposed to do it, 
in Mitzray, with all the other things, we have to stay with that. We have to not be it. The Abishta gave us another day, so now it comes our yomim. We have to have those Shlesh Yomim. The Shlesh Yomim have to stay in whatever was accomplished, and those Shlesh Yomim stays with us. And it's there, Kedusha is kind of oilam, it's not, never in his battle. And that's the Pshat of Nanas Agabi Anok. But uh, since we now we are in another day, so we have to add another point, another Avaida, BS says BS us. Does that mean that it has to be a total change? Not, not necessarily. What has to be is that I have to realize that I am part of that, that I am a continuation of that. And in any way that I can make sure that these things, that all these should be kayum and should be mayor in the oilam and everything that was accomplished throughout the, through the city, the way that, that, that there was a very there was Dvekus, there was Ava, there was Ava's Reim, there was a Chsidishkeit, etc., etc. All those things have to be Kayim as much as they can. I am here that even a person like me, that I, maybe I don't have the same feeling like the like a Molech Chsidim. Maybe I don't feel the same Ava in the same year like a Molech Chsidim. To show that, even, that it could be in me also, and that I can also accomplish in these things. And when we go with the Muna Pshuta, that I'm here and the Abish to put me here. And that I'm, I find myself in this Golis and the Abish to put me over here, gave me a tafki that I have to do whatever I can do to get out of this Golis. And not only to get out of the Golis for myself, but for the entire Kaiso. And like the Rebbe said, how can anybody be totally satisfied no matter what is being accomplished? But we know that as long as there's Chinta Begalusa and the Abish to gave me, put this, gave this Shlichus also to me on a personal level. Besides, as part of the club, to try to do whatever I can, that there should be shchinta v'kalusa, that the beis hamikdash should be built, and that there should be a gilui elikus for That's why I'm and that's what the Rebbe said. Ich gibt das ibritzaich. 